Chapter 3 Human Reproduction As you are aware humans are sexually reproducing and BV pairs. The reproductive events in human include formation of gametes which is gametogenesis that is sperms in males and ovum in females, transfer of sperms into the female genital tract which is insemination and fusion of male and female gametes which is fertilization leading to formation of zygote. This is followed by formation and development of blastocyst and its attachment to the uterine wall which is implantation, embryonic development which is gestation and delivery of the baby which is parturition. You have learned that these reproductive events occur after puberty. There are remarkable differences between the reproductive events in the male and in the female. For example, sperm formation continues even in old men but formation of ovum ceases in women around the age of 50 years. Let us examine the male and female reproductive systems in human. 3.1 The Male Reproductive System The male reproductive system is located in the pelvis region which is given in figure 3.1a. It includes a pair of testes along with accessory ducts, glands and the external genitalia. The testes are situated outside the abdominal cavity within a pouch called scrotum. The scrotum helps in maintaining the low temperature of the testes which is 2 to 2.5 degrees Celsius lower than the normal internal body temperature necessary for spermatogenesis. In adults, each testis is oval in shape with a length of about 4 to 5 cm and a width of about 2 to 3 cm. The testis is covered by a dense covering. Each testis has about 250 compartments called uh, testicular lobules which is given in figure 3.1b. Each lobule contains 1 to 3 highly coiled semiferous tubules in which sperms are produced. Each semiferous tubule is lined on its inside by two types of cells called male germ cells which is spermatogonia and sertoli cells which is given in figure 3.2. The male germ cells undergo meiotic divisions finally leading to sperm formation while sertoli cells provide nutrition to the germ cells. The regions out outside the semiferous tubules called interstitial spaces contain small blood vessels and interstitial cells or Leydig cells which is given in figure 3.2. Leydig cells synthesize and secrete testicular hormones called androgens. Other immunologically competent cells are also present. The male sex accessory ducts include rete testes, vasa efferentia, epididymis and vas difference which is given in figure 3.1b. The semiferous tubules of the testes open into the vasa efferentia through rete testes. The vasa efferentia leave the testis and open into epididymis located along the posterior surface of each testis. The epididymis leads to vas difference that ascends to the abdomen and loops over the urinary bladder. It receives a duct from seminal vesicle and opens into urethra as the ejaculatory duct which is given in figure 3.1a. These ducts store and transport the sperms from the testis to the outside through urethra. The urethra originates from the urinary bladder and extends through the penis to its external opening called urethral meter. The penis in the male external genitalia which is given in figure 3.1 a b. It is made up of special tissue that helps in erection of the penis to facilitate insemination. The enlarged end of penis called the glans penis is covered by a loose fold of skin called foreskin. The male accessory glands which is given in figure 3.1a b include paired seminal vesicles, a prostate and a paired bulbourethral glands. Secretion of these glands constitute the seminal plasma which is rich in fructose, calcium and certain enzymes. The secretion of bulbourethral glands also help in lubrication of the penis. 3.2 The Female Reproductive System the female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries along with a pair of oviducts, uterus, cervix, vagina and the external genitalia located in the pelvic region which is given in figure 3.3a. These parts of the system along with a pair of the mammary glands are integrated structurally and functionally to support the process of ovulation, fertilization, pregnancy, birth and child care. Ovaries are the primary female sex organs that produce the female gamete which is ovum and several steroid hormones which is ovarian hormones. The ovaries are located one on each side of the lower abdomen which is given in figure 3.3b. Each ovary is about 2 to 4 cm in length and is connected to the pelvic wall and uterus by ligaments. 
Each ovary is covered by a thin epithelium which encloses the ovarian stroma. The stroma is divided into two zones, a peripheral cortex and an inner medulla. The oviducts, which is fallopian tubes, uterus and vagina, constitute the female accessory ducts. Each fallopian tube is about 10 to 12 cm long and extends from periphery of each ovary to the uterus, which is given in figure 3.3b. The part closer to the ovary is the funnel-shaped infundibulum. The edges of the infundibulum possesses finger-like projections called fimbriae, which help in collection of the ovum after ovulation. The infundibulum leads to a wider part of the oviduct called ampulla. The last part of the oviduct, isthmus, has a narrow lumen and it joins the uterus. The uterus is single and it is also called worm. The shape of the uterus is like an inverted pear. It is supported by ligaments attached to the pelvic wall. The uterus opens into vagina through a narrow cervix. The cavity of the cervix is called cervical canal which is given in figure 3.3b, which along with vagina forms the birth canal. The wall of the uterus has three layers of tissue. The external thin membrane is perimetrium, middle thick layer of smooth muscles myometrium, and inner glandular layer called endometrium that lines the uterine cavity. The endometrium undergoes cyclic changes during menstrual cycle, while the myometrium exhibits strong contraction during delivery of the baby. The female external genitalia include mons pubis, labia majora, labia minora, hymen and clitoris, which is given in figure 3.3a. Mons pubis is a cushion of fatty tissue covered by skin and pubic hair. The labia majora are fleshy folds of tissue which extends down from the mons pubis and surround the vaginal opening. The labia minora are paired folds of tissue under the labia majora. The opening of the vagina is often covered partially by a membrane called hymen. The clitoris is a tiny finger-like structure which lies at the upper junction of the two labia minora above the urethral opening. The hymen is often torn during the first coitus which is intercourse. However, it can also be broken by sudden fall or jolt. Insertion of a vaginal tampon, active participation in sp some sports like horseback riding, cycling, etc. In some women, the hymen persists even after coitus. In fact, the presence or absence of hymen is not a reliable indicator of virginity or sexual experience. A functional mammary gland is characteristic of all female mammals. The mammary glands are paired structures which is breast, that contain glandular tissue and variable amount of fat. The glandular tissue of each breast is divided into 15 to 20 mammary lobes containing clusters of cells called alveoli, which is given in figure 3.4. The cells of alve alveoli secrete milk, which is stored in the cavities, which is lumen, of alveoli. The alveoli open into mammary tubules. The tubules of each lobe joins to form a mammary duct. Several mammary ducts join to form a wider mammary ampulla, which is connected to lactiferous duct through which milk is sucked out.